Hello guys, how are we doing today? Welcome back to our channel and welcome to this video. I don't believe you're doing good, I don't believe you're doing great. In this video, we're going to be doing an analysis of GBP USD and what to expect from the market this week. If you're just coming across our videos, you're just coming across our channel and say welcome, it's good to have you. What we want to do right now is click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because we release videos like this almost every day, letting our viewers know what to expect from the market per time and you don't want to miss out on any of such videos. Now let's get straight into the business of this video. Let's start our analysis on the monthly time frame. On the monthly time frame, if you've been following our channel, you remember that we've said that GBP USD got to the lowest point it has ever been in the last um, 22 years. And of course, you can see the RSI on the monthly time frame has gotten below the oversold region. And we saw last month that the market had a long lower week that the market closed as a hanging man. So we could see bullish rejection from here. So after the market sold down to this region, it started buying and it closed here. Then this month is still in session. And of course, we did say that when the market gets to the oversold region, we start looking out for buying opportunities. And we can also see that. GBP USD has been selling consistently for a pretty long time and getting to this region the uh, most logical thing to expect from the market is that it should start buying. Now let's consider the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame you can see the market has been selling consistently down 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 and it has gotten to this region then um, four weeks ago we had the market close as a pin bar so after it sold down to this region, it started buying and it closed as a pin bar here, which we said is a bullish reversal candlestick pattern. And the market started buying, then it sold again. And we can see all that has happened in the market within the last three weeks. Then on the daily time frame, on the daily time frame, I remember the market, uh, okay, of course, observing from here, we can see the market has been selling consistently got way below the oversold region started buying then last week the market closed here as a bearish arami and if you saw the video of last week remember that i said that there is indecision in the market that's exactly what i said that is indecision in the market there's chances for the market buying and there's also chances for the market to sell so on monday it bought a bit and on tuesday when tuesday through thursday it sold on Fridays, it bought again and closed as a pin bar. So there was indecision in the market. If you look at the weekly time frame, you see that the market closed as a small bullish candle with a long up and lower week. So that shows indecision. That could as well be a doji. All right, back to the daily time frame. So the market closed on the daily time frame as a pin bar. And let's consider the four hours time frame. On the four hours time frame, you can see the market. I think this was where it closed last week or two weeks ago. Then it started buying on Monday, Tuesday through Thursday, sold on Friday. It bought again. So this is where it's closed. So that's what happened in the market within last week. What do we expect from the market this week? Of course, like we said. Um, last week there was indecision and at the end of the time frame the market took uh, or let's say the market chose a side so here we can see the market close we can see a morning star here which is a bullish reversal candlestick pattern and here we can see the 10 day simple moving average crossing over the candlestick uh, which is a bullish entry trigger and here we had the market close as a small bullish candle remember Remember this, the market has been selling consistently, like we've said, the market has been selling consistently for a pretty long time, got to the oversold region on daily, weekly, and monthly time frames, then made a pin bar, we could see pin bar in daily and weekly um, time frame, we saw a hanging man on the monthly time frame, so it shows that there's bullish rejection around this region and um, we want to believe that buyers are beginning to take over the market. So having got to this region, the market bought um, up to this extent and started selling. 
um, look at the daily time frame again. So it's both up to this region. You can see on the RSI, it's got around here, um, approaching the overbought region. Then it pulled back. Of course, the four hours time frame got to the overbought region. See it here. So the four hours time frame, <clears throat> the four hours time frame got to the overbought region. So of course, it's expected for the market to pull back for a while which it did up to this extent and it's supposed to start buying again which it also did but to this extent and um, there was contention around the region which um, sellers were able to push it but buyers um, having been present in the markets or yeah because they are present in the market did not allow sellers to push it down again if they have if sellers have been able to push it again we would be having and perhaps a double bottom or yeah we could be having a double bottom around here so the market having got to this region it would have started selling again so all this i'm saying is to say that buyers did not allow sellers to push it down and it means that buyers are still very much present in the market that's why the daily time frame ended on friday as a pin bar which is a bullish reversal candlestick pattern for that reason of putting all these facts together okay we have a morning star on the four hours time frame we have a pin bar on the daily time frame we have a doji on the weekly time frame so putting these facts together we can safely say that the market will be going bullish this week and of course this was a tp last um, um two weeks ago we were expecting or three weeks ago and uh, this was a tp before the market um linger around this region so we're still expecting this tp to be attained we're expecting the market to go bullish till at least this region there's possibility of exceeding this region but this will be our target for now so that's what we're expecting from the market this week when it gets to that region we'll still be observing the market we're going to let you know whether there's going to be a retracement or the market is going to continue but you have to stay tuned to channel to get to see this when we make that analysis so that's what we're expecting from the market this week if you have a different opinion you can use the comment section if you have any question you can also use the comment section i'll be glad to have a conversation with you like we always say trading is a highly risky endeavor you don't want to venture into trading without proper knowledge if you don't have sufficient knowledge about trading you don't want to take this trade you can watch this video for educational purpose that will serve you better than risking your hard earned money on something you don't fully understand if you want to register for our complete forex training check the description of this video you're going to see a link where you can register for our complete forex training we'll give beginners to advanced classes ebooks and lifetime mentorship and if you want to subscribe for our signal service we'll give proper entry stop loss and take profit also check the description of this video you're going to see a link where you can subscribe for our signal service and if you want to get a copy of my book trading without tears also check the description of this video you're going to see a link where you can get the soft copy if you want the hard copy send us a direct message to any of our social media handles tell us your location will tell you the cost of shipping it once your payment is confirmed you have the book delivered to you so that's it from us on this video i hope you got value see you in the next video bye for now